Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on this channel. I am as you can see again today we are back with my weekly AFL tipping video. Um, I say we should just get into this one straight away. Uh, first of all, let's just check up on my tipping score. So last round in the Cardman 22 tipping comp, I think I was like 650th or something it was pretty bad i've i've gone up i had a much better round that round I've got seven out of nine um if it would show my score please there we go so yeah first round i got six which is a pretty standard score last round i got three and uh round two sorry i got three and last round i got seven when with a margin of only three so that was pretty good. Um, seven, I think. Last round was definitely a lot easier to tip than the previous two rounds, especially round two, obviously, as you can see by my score. But yeah, so hopefully I can rise up the rankings a bit more th this week. Um, let's just get into the tips. First up, Thursday night footy. Um, at the start of the year, you'd probably look at this fixture and think it's one of the games of the round. Not anymore. Port Adelaide are 0-3, Melbourne are 3-0. Um, Port just lost a showdown. That That's never good for them. Um, they And the week before, they got belted up by Hawthorne, who are tipped bottom four, and some even tipped them bottom two. So, yeah, they're not in a good way right now. They, they'll get a win on the board sooner or later but i can't see it happening against melbourne um this this should probably be a pretty comfortable win for melbourne so i'm gonna tip the d's by 41. Uh, then we got the friday night match geelong versus brisbane uh this should be a pretty entertaining game more entertaining than the thursday night game um Geelong, obviously, I think they're favourites pretty much because it's at GMHBA Stadium where they always seem to perform well. Uh, Brisbane going well right now. They fought out two gritty wins in the first couple of rounds and then absolutely demolished the ruse last round. Um, 108 points. Probably should have beaten them by more. They were a bit inaccurate for parts of that game. But yeah, Brisbane, I, I, I'm going to tip Brisbane in a slight upset here, because last year, they were, they only went down by the one point against Geelong, and there was a very dubious non-call paid in the last 20 seconds of the game, non-holding the ball call, but should have definitely been there. So, I think Brisbane are a better team this year. Geelong, they seem to be around the same mark. Uh, Brisbane, I'll tip them, I'll tip them in a, I'll tip them by four points. Uh, next up, we've got my team, the Swans, taking on the Roos. Uh, last week, Swans obviously lost by 11 points. I, I thought all that coming. Um, I tipped Western Bulldogs, so at least I got a tip right there. Uh, umpiring in that game was very dubious but really i think the bulldogs were still the better team like they in the first half they in particular they had way more scoring shots than us they, they really just generated a lot more scoring opportunities now i didn't watch the first half because i was at um footy training but from what i've heard we were pretty bad and we were lucky not to be down by way more at half time up against the Roos this week, although we should get a pretty easy win. Um, North Melbourne, will they respond? I don't know. But they were they've been they've been horrible to start off this year really. They they've or they've got their one win over a waffle team and they really had to grind out that win, which is not something you should have you should have to do. So yeah, they're just going terrible right now, North Melbourne. Um, they, they could, at this rate, go back-to-back -back wooden spoon. Um, so, we should win this one 
pretty comfortably by I'll go 50, uh, 54 points uh, up next Collingwood vs West Coast at Marvel Stadium um, yeah it's at Marvel Stadium this one I think West Coast are going to get a few more players back for this game. They they got a few players back last round for the Derby, but they arguably played worse than they did in the first two rounds. So really, I don't I don't know if their full their full team isn't even that good in my opinion. Um, I mean last year in the second half of the year they pretty much had their full team and they were getting smacked up by Bulldogs, um, Collingwood, Sydney just. Week in, week out, second half of the year. So yeah, they even with their full team, which they still won't have, they're not that good West Coast. So I think this should probably still be a pretty comfortable win for Collingwood. I'll I'll make it a about a five and a half goal win for them. Um, up next we got Richmond of taking on the Bulldogs. Uh, this one's at the MCG, but I think Bulldogs are definitely the better side, it's fair to say. Um, going into last round, they did lose two games, but they, they lost to good teams. Uh, yeah, they lost to good teams. Um, Richmond went down in the first round to Carlton, got up against GWS, and completely capitulated late against St. Kilda. Um... They, they looked to have that game won, and they just absolutely got destroyed. 64 points in a row for St. Kilda from, like, the halfway point in the third quarter to late in the last. Yeah, it was just, it was pretty, St. Kilda looked impressive in that last quarter and a half. Richmond, not so much. So, will this one be a close one? I don't know. I, I'll tip it to be a slightly closer one. Bulldogs by 16 points. Fremantle vs GWS is up next. Um, probably a game not many people are going to tune into. Both teams haven't looked the greatest starting off um, 2022. GW, uh, sorry, Fremantle uh, won the Western Derby the other week against a Slightly less depleted West Coast outfit, but it was still pretty... It, they still had a lot of, I think, top-up players and fringe players on their list, on their side. GWS, they are 2-1 and one as well. No, they're 1-2, never mind. Uh, they lost the first two games. They looked good in round one, in the loss. Round two, not so much. They didn't really apply much pressure at all. And in round three, they they looked okay, but they weren't up against much, really. The Gold Coast really didn't even look like they put in much of an effort for a lot of that game. So that 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 really doesn't t t tell us a lot about GWS, I think. I think Fremantle are the better team. Um, it's that of the stadium home crowd on Frio's side. I'll tip I'll tip Frio. I'll tip Frio at a close one by nine points. And now for is this the first of the Sunday games or the second of the Sunday games? I can't remember what game we're up. No, this is this is the first of the Sunday games. Um, so we got Essendon and Adelaide Crows. Essendon 0 and 3, but they haven't looked that bad apart from the first round. The first round they looked atrocious. The next two rounds they looked competitive. Um, they just were outclassed by two better teams in the end. Now they're up against Adelaide though in Melbourne. They should get this win. Adelaide did just come off of a thrilling showdown win, so they might have a bit of momentum with them, but Essendon... I mean... People are riding them off for the top 8, but 
really when you look when you look most people when you look at their um first three matches before the season you'd probably pick them for 0 and 3 so then i don't think it's crisis mode for Essendon yet they should get the win today so on sunday um i'll go Essendon by 16 points Hawthorne vs St Kilda, probably one of the harder matches to tip this round. Um, this one could go either way, really. Hawthorne haven't looked as bad as I thought they'd be. Uh, they almost stole a win off Carlton last week. They were 2-0 and going into that game. I still think St Kilda are the better side, and they should win. Um, but they're just really inconsistent the Saints um, so they're every opportunity of just completely choking this game and losing but Max King's got a little bit of momentum and if he could play a four quarters of good footy he could drop seven or eight on the Hawks this week I'll go I'll go St Kilda by 19 points and for the final game of the round, Gold Coast are uh, very inconsistent this year so far. Uh, beat West Coast in round one. A depleted West Coast in round one. Um, stood up to Melbourne. Put up a fight, but just went down. And then played pathetic last week. That was pretty poor. Took Miller, got double tagged, and had no impact on the game. So Carlton, if, if Gold Coast play like they did last week, Carlton should win this one by a lot. I think Gold Coast will respond. Um, I'm almost tipping them. I'm almost feeling an upset coming on here. I'll, I'll go with a safer tip of Carlton. I'll go. I'll go with Carlton in another thriller. Uh, three points. I'll make the margin. I could. I could see an upset coming coming on here, but it's it's just safer to go with Carlton. Um, at this stage, Gold Coast haven't really looked like doing much this season. So that is all my round four tips. Let's look at the ladder. Brisbane still on top. Melbourne still in second. Carlton still in third. Sydney with a Fairly big win over North Melbourne. Back up into the top four. Hawthorne still in the top eight despite another loss. St Kilda jump into the eight. Uh, West Coast on bottom along with Port Adelaide. Both teams winless. North Melbourne dropping down to 16th. They've looked pretty bad. Um, yeah, Western Bulldogs still just outside the eight. Geelong outside the eight, surprisingly. Um, Collingwood still going well yeah so they are all my tips for this round um please leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe leave a comment uh, tell me what your tips for the round are and i'll see you all in the next one bye